Hi, I'm Luke Langio, and this is Investor Place Quick Picks, where we communicate to you some of the market's best investment ideas in just five minutes. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the hottest stocks on Wall Street, the name Luminar Technologies, ticker L-A-Z-R. Now, Luminar is a self-driving technology company. They make what are called LiDAR sensors, and LiDAR sensors are essentially just add-on lasers that you put onto a car so that it can see and sense its surroundings using laser pulses. It's basically the technological foundation of self-driving. So on self-driving hype, on the idea that LiDAR sensors are gonna be everywhere and anywhere across the auto market over the next decade, Luminar stock has soared. It was a $10 stock back in early November. By early December, it was a $50 stock. That's a 5X gain in less than a month. But obeying the laws of financial gravity, Luminar stock has come crashing down since then. We went from 10 to 50 and now we've almost done a round trip and we're back at $20 today. Don't worry, don't stress, instead buy this dip. This reversal is a golden buying opportunity because if you back out, zoom out, look at the big picture here, self-driving is becoming a reality. LiDAR is the core technological component of self-driving, and Luminar is the cost and performance leader in LiDAR. Doesn't take a rocket science to connect those dots. Luminar is a company that projects to have enormous growth potential over the next five to 10 years, and as all that growth potential comes to life, Luminar stock, it's going to soar like a rocket ship. Here's a deeper look. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the self-driving revolution. Once just a science fiction concept that was popping up in books and movies, self-driving is now quickly becoming a disruptive reality. Over the past decade, relentless innovation and multiple technological breakthroughs have paved the path for semi-autonomous cars to become a reality today across the world from Phoenix to Berlin to London to Detroit to Boston many 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 companies are testing semi-autonomous cars on the road right now in China they're testing fully autonomous cars so cars that don't even have a driver in them all across the world the innovation is happening it's not going to stop more money more talent they're all coming into the space make no mistake self-driving is coming soon to a road near you and it's going to happen very very quickly this disruption is going to happen very very quickly by 2030 it is estimated that every single new passenger car sold in the world will be at least semi-autonomous. Some will be fully autonomous, most will be partially autonomous, but all of them will have some autonomous features. So we're gonna go from zero today to 70 million by 2030. This is huge growth. The self-driving revolution is going to be enormous. And what technology is at the heart of this? LiDAR. So the key to unlocking self-driving is getting cars to see, to have vision, to be able to sense and respond to their surroundings much like a human can. Now, how do we do this? Well, one way to do it is through cameras, right? You just have cameras that are already built in the car and those cameras can kind of see what's going on and it gives the car some vision. But computer vision, which you get from cameras, uh, has some big limitations that are very hard to overcome. So in response to those limitations, the industry has developed what are called LiDAR, which are essentially laser sensors. Now you basically add these laser sensors onto the car, they beam these lasers out into the world, they measure the time of flight back to the car, or they measure changes in frequency in the waves that that come back. Either way, they carefully measure either time or frequency to gauge how far away an object is. 
do this thousands of times in a 360 degree frame of view and all of a sudden the car has vision. It can see everything that's going around. It can construct a dynamic real world image of what is around the car. It's a really, really cool, innovative and neat technology. Now there are some concerns that computer vision is going to get better and make LiDAR obsolete, but most industry experts think that if that ever were to happen, it is a long, long ways off and it most likely will never happen because computer vision will never be perfect. And so long as it is never perfect, safety is of the utmost importance and self-driving is not going to become a thing unless it is the safest thing on the planet. And so. Computer vision, never gonna be perfect. LiDAR will always be there to fill in the gaps. Together the two can make self-driving one of the safest things humans can ever, ever, ever do. So, self-driving revolution, it will be powered by LiDAR technology. LiDAR sensors, they're outfitted on very few cars today, only the ones that are being tested in these, in these self-driving tests. They're gonna be outfitted on every single car by 2030. Needless to say, that means that companies that make LiDAR are positioned for enormous growth over the next decade during the self-driving revolution. Who is the best at making these LiDAR sensors? Luminar. Now there are lots of LiDAR companies in the world and many of them are public, right? You have Velodyne, who is the incumbent, the giant, they've been in the market for the longest. You have Ava who's attacking LiDAR in a very cool way as opposed to using time of flight, they're measuring frequency waves, really interesting play. You have Innovis who is creating a solid state LiDAR which is way different than what everyone else is doing, mechanical LiDAR. So again, all interesting companies, all great potential, but none of them stack up to Luminar. When it comes to making high performance low cost, long range LiDAR that is economically viable for auto OEMs today, Luminar has no rival. Luminar sensors have the longest range in the industry at over 250 meters of range, whereas everybody else's LiDAR down at 150 meters or less. They also have the highest resolution at 300 pixels per degree of resolution versus less than 100 pixels per, de pixels per degree at every other LiDAR. They also perform the best in adverse weather conditions. There is a very small drop off in the performance, whereas other LiDAR have a big drop off in performance. They are zero interference, sunlight, other LiDAR ra lasers, they do not interfere with Luminar's LiDAR. And above all else, Luminar has built its TOF, time of flight LiDAR, from the ground up with cost in mind. So their LiDAR are more cost competitive than other LiDARs of similar specs. Basically, from head to toe, across all the specs, everything that matters, Luminar's LiDAR are the best in the market. Ask anyone in self-driving, ask anyone researching this stuff, they will say the same thing. And the contracts, they corroborate this. Volvo, Dahmer, they have seven out of the 10 largest OEM companies are in their deal pipeline. Luminar is set up for enormous success over the next few years. As the company, as that success comes to life, Luminar stock, it's going to roar higher. So now that we know that Luminar is gonna be a long-term winner, let's look at the math on how Luminar stock gets to big gains. So by 2030, the estimated L2 to L5 vehicle market is expected to be about 70 million cars sold per year. Um, Luminar's order book with Volvo implies that the company will now have about 1% market share by 2025. Management is targeting 4% market share by 2030. I think that's totally doable given the company's technology advantages, huge technology advantages. So at 4% share in a 70 million market, 70 million car market, then you're talking about 2.8 million cars outfitted with Luminar's 
LiDAR. At two sensors per car, you're talking 5.6 million sensors. At around a thousand bucks per sensor, you're talking over five billion dollars in revenue. I think EBITDA margins can easily scale to 50 percent. That's where management says they're going to go. It's a high margin business because they get a nice software revenue stream in there. Add it all up, and my numbers say that Luminar has visibility to do at least $5 and probably closer to $7 in earnings per share by 2030. High quality auto parts companies usually trade around 20 times forward earnings. A 20x forward multiple on $7 in 2030 projected EPS implies a 2029 price target for Luminar of $140. That is 7x upside from the current price tag. So long term winner, near term weakness, don't stress it. Buy the dip and hold for the long haul because in the long haul, Luminar stock, the best LiDAR maker in the world, is a multi, multi bagger. Well, that's all we have for this edition of Investor Place Quick Picks. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash the like button, follow me on Twitter. And if you like to read, come over and visit us at InvestorPlace.com. We have some of the market's best analysis. Until next time, cheers and happy investing to all.